I'm the uh, ambassador for the Netherlands to Uganda. I arrived in uh, 2012, so I've been here now almost uh, four years. And that's our term, normally speaking, it's a four-year term, and then we're going to be uh, transferred. Before coming to Kampala, I was ambassador to uh, the Bangladesh, before that to Ethiopia, lived in Addis Ababa, before that in Kigali, was ambassador in Rwanda and Burundi, ambassador in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso. So I've had some African uh, experience. Africa sees an enormous boost in the population. You see more and more people going from the rural areas to the urban areas and the challenges for the cities are fantastic, are enormous. If you look at pictures from, uh, from Lagos, for example, you think, well, this is, this is almost unmanageable. So I think it's very important that indeed that the African cities sit together and then exchange views, exchange ideas and say, okay, what are the issues that we're actually dealing with? You have the inflow of the population. You need also the space where the people can, can, uh, can relax, that they can uh, have decent, uh, decent air where they can go and play, where they have, where they have recreational grounds, where you have a uh, public transport system, extremely important. Looking at the, uh, the water provision, extremely important. Looking at the electricity, I mean, there are many, many, many challenges. And I think that it is um, beneficial for all parties to sit and to compare notes and to say, okay, how have we dealt with certain issues and how can we exchange views and how can we not reinvent the wheel continuously, but looking at the experiences, the good management in Kampala can be copied for Nairobi, for example. You know, how can you learn from each other? And, and how can the other cities learn from what KCCA is doing for the management of uh, Kampala? There is a program which was introduced last year, which is called the DRIVE program, which is a program financed by the Dutch uh, government, specifically looking at, sub at subsidizing infrastructural programs. So for example, for Kampala, this, this new program, this DRIVE program, could be used for the improvement of the infrastructure here in uh, Kampala. What I have seen in the last four years is definitely an improvement in the, uh, in the infrastructure. Indeed, I see a, a city that is very clean. I see the, the, the data is always uh, working to make sure that the roads are being uh, freed of all kinds of garbage, uh, etc. So you see that there is a management, a hands-on management from the city in order to improve the services, in order to improve the infrastructure. But many things have to be done. What I've noticed is uh, clearly that public transport is needed. I'm very happy to see that also the train transport is now uh, just uh, started. I do understand there will be a light train system. A light train system will be uh, introduced to Kampala. I think that's very important to be able to go from A to B for the simple reason that the poor people who don't have the money to pay the taxis, they are very limited in the, in the area where they can work because they have to go on foot. When you have good public transport, that means that the poorer people are able to look for work in different parts of the city. So it's very social uh, action to improve the infrastructure. Many people don't think about that, but it's very important to do that.